Hey Virgos, welcome back, welcome back. Did you guys miss me? <laughs> Hope you're all doing well, welcome back. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you're all doing well. Please do make sure you smash that like and subscribe button if you are new and welcome back everybody. Virgos, okay. Now I know it's been a little while. You guys can let me know if your weekend messages resonated at all. Um, if you need a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. But let's see what drama you have coming up. I know it's been a while, so I hope you guys have been managing okay. All right, let's see. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Love messages for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Hello, everyone in the chat. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a nice weekend. All right, let's see. Nothing wants to show up here today. So let's just make it happen. All right, Six of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Queen of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Wow, the tower, the center of the reading. Page of Cups. Wow, there's a big shift and some change happening here. Okay, Seven of Swords. The hanged man and the nine of wands bottom of the deck the queen of swords air energy libra aquarius gemini truth being told conversation coming to you uh, somebody wants to talk to you virgo somebody's got something to say wow okay Somebody wants to know where you, what happened to you. I'm just getting this message. Where'd you go? I feel like somebody, somebody could be connecting with, or I feel like there's someone here, okay, who is feeling really trapped. And some of you definitely felt a sense of trap, being trapped or stuck and truth be told you guys are walking away from something starting a new chapter in your life okay whether that's in your career your love life but i feel like there's somebody here coming forward whom it could be an aries for some it could be an air sign but this person is coming in with a huge, coming in taking a huge risk. They've been thinking about it. They don't want you to go. Somebody doesn't want you to leave or go. Okay. We have Aquarian energy again. Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Okay. Um, hmm. I feel like you're going to get some type of communication from someone. They don't want you. They don't. I, I, it just feels like they don't want you to start this new thing without them. Maybe the, your new life or start a new chapter in your life or have some kind of new beginning without them. Um, they're feeling, it feels like really, I, it, okay, a little sorry for themselves. They're feeling a little sorry for themselves. They feel a little victimized like you are, I mean, you're coming in, Virgo, kind of cold, kind of harsh. You know, I just heard cuts like a knife. Cuts like a knife. You're cutting something out or you've cut something out and you are just cold as freaking ice, Virgo. I feel like you've been patient. You've waited um, for someone to come in. To show themselves as something that you have wanted them to, sh you know, kind of a, a glow up, a level up kind of thing. Um, and perhaps they didn't do that for you. Okay. So you, it looks like going forward in the month of November, you're doing the cutoff, but this person is feeling that absence. They're feeling that, I mean, Virgo, I don't really feel like in November, you're just going to have a conversation with someone I feel like they're going to try to have a conversation and it might be something along the lines of you know why did you cut me off like that maybe you just or maybe you just some of you might just hang up the phone on somebody and you're just like no more of this it just feels like a very sharp 
like you're doing a sharp cut off. Some of you may have already done this with someone, but you're definitely, there's going to be some communication. It's going to be pretty truthful. That's what I feel. Uh, some of you are cutting off your fathers or cutting out a father figure. Some of you, I just heard you had a father who abandoned you or someone who abandoned you and you just said, that's it, I'm leaving this situation. And they will try to reach out to you wondering where you went and you're like, go away. Oh, it's harsh. It feels like harsh energy, Virgo. It feels like real harsh. And I mean, maybe, you know, I mean, I'm not judging. It just feels harsh. It just feels very truthful. You're setting boundaries. Let me see what your love message is. What's going on here with someone? Okay, releasing your ex. Yep. A lot of you are just... A lot of you are just releasing somebody. Freeing yourself. Holy mackerel. Freeing yourself. Some of you... Okay. Some of you know that your person was involved with someone else. And... You did a cutoff because of that. You didn't even give, you didn't even, uh, some of you, I don't even know if you said it's either that person or me. Some of you just said to yourselves, it's either me or you're out of here. And that's kind of what I feel like this person is like shocked here with this tower moment. This tower didn't think that you would do that. You didn't. And it feels to me like this person, if they had somebody else, they're releasing that person. I feel like they got the message. But some of you don't even care. You may not even care in November. Anyway, you guys are just, you know, freeing yourselves. You're letting your friends help you to get to from point A to point B at this time in your life. This person, okay. So we also have, we have Pisces and Cancer, okay? So this person is sitting here with the Six of Pentacles, and it feels to me like they are, they may have, you know what? Okay, <laughs> this person is going to reach out to you, definitely. And it's, they're doing a little bit of breadcrumbing here. And it feels more like testing the waters to see if you're really gone. And I feel like they're going to message you, maybe with something flirty. Okay. They're going to give you a little something-something. Just to see if you are really gone or you're just out. Or you're not communicating with them. Just want to kind of see where you are. Because something is shocking here happening in November. They're getting a huge wake up call. Okay, yeah. So they're gonna be very hesitantly reaching out to you, not like big declarations of anything, okay? More like kind of standing behind the corner or just dipping their toe in the water a little bit just to kind of feel you out to see if you're really gone. Okay, I feel like at some point you are going to tell this person that if you do decide to communicate with them, you are going to tell somebody that it's over, that you're done. Some of you might just be waiting for that chance. So this person's going to come in with a little bit of flirtatious communication with you um, just to feel the waters to see where you're at with things. Yep. Ten of Pentacles. See if you're still in this with them. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles is like leaving a legacy to see if you're still willing to go all the way with them. I don't feel like you are, Virgo. I feel like you are kind of walking away and you're watching back at them and you're shaking your ass as you walk out the door. Some of you are like, Looking, taking that one look, one last look backwards. You're really sassing somebody here. <laughs> you're 
you're really sassing somebody but i don't feel like you are trying to do anything on purpose some of you might be but it feels mostly like watch my ass as i walk out the door that ass that you like so much because that's the last time you're gonna see it what the heck happened maybe it was that there was involvement with somebody else maybe you find out about it and you tell them maybe you already found out about it and you told them you're not playing you're not you're not competing with another man or another woman for their attention for this person's affection for their loyalty none of that okay yep king of pentacles and the queen of cups so there is definitely a match here between two people for some of you there could be a fire sign there is a match but you guys are very different you have different approaches to life one person might be a bit more watery very fluid in and out very changeable another person might be more stable conservative strong but very focused on their wealth and material things so i feel like this person is going to try to dip their toe in the water here a little bit just to see where you're at check your temperature so to speak and i don't see you really responding to them because you're not responding to simple little messages i mean this seems to be like a big deal you're not wasting your energy on um simple little things do you know like i don't know this person could message you something flirty and be like uh, you know, I saw that picture of you the other day. You look, you look really sexy. Like Virgo's like, I'm not bothering with that anymore. Right? Some of you. Uh, the flirtatiousness. You're trying to get at the truth of something. You're trying to like get your life in a good position for yourself. You, Some of you have really had a level up. You're just not wasting your time on frivolous endeavors with people. You just want something solid. Someone who comes with integrity. Someone who's honest. And um, I don't like to use the word wants to get serious. But someone who... Um, is looking for the same thing you're looking for in your life you're looking you're, you're seeking someone who's in alignment with you and the things that you want they want the same thing that's where you're at so i don't see you really responding to this person anything that they say to you because it's just what's the word i want to use it's like shallow it's not serious it, I, I, I did say serious it's not like you want you want someone to come in and say look this is what happened and i'm done with that and i'm ready to take this forward and i'm going to prove it to you that's what you're looking for right so you leave this person out in the cold and they feel it they feel abandoned they feel shocked they feel you're letting them go they feel you're freeing yourself from this whole thing to you you're releasing this person because to you they're an ex and it's done you're clearing your energy and you're moving on with your life and they feel it they feel this this illness this it's like over kind of thing and i feel like this shocks this person because i feel like a lot of you okay the emperor is back again i feel like a lot of you are just walking away from this person like you just didn't show up for me in the way i needed you to and you, a lot of you were just like, yo, I'm tired of chasing this. I'm tired of talking about the same thing over and over again. I'm tired of telling you that I love you and that I want to build something with you. You're done with it. Okay. So the emperor energy is here. That's what you wanted from this person to come through, not just as a, a queen or a king, but to come through as like your other half, you being an empress energy you've raised yourself up virgo not in a snotty way but you respect yourself now you know that you deserve what you're worth and maybe some of you got involved with someone when you didn't feel so good about yourself and you accepted lowball offers from people and you've since raised your energy and have come to understand your value and your worth and this person hasn't caught up to you and it's not like you're 
some of you just are like, okay, well, one of us has grown and changed and the other refuses, so I have to move on, right? A lot of you are taking a very logical approach. Okay, but this shocks this person because they didn't think that you would do something like this, <laughs> like let them go. Uh, maybe they thought they could play around with your heart or they could just tug at your weak spots, your soft spots, lull you to sleep. And here they come here with this page of cups. They're, they're seeing that their flirtation isn't going to work. So now they're going to try this page of cups energy, this sweet, sweet stuff. Okay. Yeah. See the ace of cups on the tower. Everything's breaking down in this person's life, like falling to bits and pieces. I feel like they come to realize that you were a blessing to them, the only true love for them. But is it too late for you, Virgo? Do they come to realize this too late? People always want what they can't have, right? So you're laying it down here, thick as concrete. You're laying the slab like I'm rebuilding, right? And they're coming in to make things right. And they're going to keep trying, Virgo. I mean, hey, what do I always say? I mean, if somebody's going to come in and, and really prove it to you, you know, come in with integrity, come in with that strong heart and that love and all, you know, you could always give them another chance. That's up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But I feel like a lot of you um, have come to this place in your lives where you know you, what you deserve and you know you need to be treated right and treated well and be respected and you're willing maybe some of you weren't all right so i just want to say this some of you came from a particular point in your life where maybe when you were with this person you were at a low place in your life they were at a low place in their life you guys maybe weren't exchanging in a healthy way. The relationship became toxic. You've since healed. You've changed your behaviors. You're getting better. You're looking back at this person and seeing, wow, we were maybe both very toxic in how we interacted with each other. And now that you're on this path of change and healing, you don't want that anymore. You don't want that anymore. And I feel like this person senses somewhere along the line, Virgo, this person fell in love with you, but they were still in their negative ways. I feel like maybe when you met this person, they did not have any intentions of falling in love. And maybe you didn't either, or maybe you did. I don't know, but I definitely feel like this person somewhere along the line fell in love with you. They didn't expect it. They were just fooling around and probably fooling around with other people, not taking things seriously. Somewhere along the lines, you guys got real with yourselves and you came to realize what you want, right? So they're coming in to try to sort things out here and do the right thing. I feel like this person wants to provide and be what you want them to be. But again, is it too late? That's a question. I know some of you are like, no, it's absolutely too late. And I'm completely cut this off and I'm done and I'm moving on. Bring us the singles reading, Kel. And others of you are like, well, I definitely don't want back what I had. And if this person comes in correctly and does it right and, you know, they get everything, they got it together and they really show me, you know, because we do have love here. We do have this tower card is kind of like it feels like when a tornado comes through and rips out all the flowers in the bushes, you know, everything's destroyed. And then after a time, there's regrowth like spring after the cold winter. That's what I feel like is happening here. A cold, cold winter and new growth comes after that, a new beginning. Some of you might actually be getting new lovers into your lives in November. 
you may be actually meeting somebody some of you could be a water sign a new person or another earth sign so this person's energy here they have a seven of swords you know virgo it just kind of feels to me like This person had everything with you, or they feel it now, because I do feel like a lot of you, majority of you are going to say no with what they come in with, because they're coming in in this page energy. This person, I just... I feel like they're, I don't, I, I just get a sense that they're really, they're going to, they're going to back off. When you cut them off and you tell them it's done, they're going to back off. Look, the tower again on the hangman. This person, it feels so cowardly. It feels like this person doesn't have it in them to give you what you want or what you need or what you deserve they got all these wishes they got like everything here they can make happen and i feel like they run away from that their wake-up call in all this the perspective the change that they see is that it wasn't just a tornado that came through and that they were a bystander they were the reason for the sabotage now I'm getting another message here with this. This person, okay, they're just telling me the growth that you've had, Virgo. I don't know exactly who I'm talking to, but the growth that some of you have had here has been intense and massive. There's a huge shift. But I don't feel like this person purposefully tried to hurt you. I feel, and I'm, I'm picking up so much water energy here in this reading. I feel that this person is ignorant to how they are. I don't feel like this person has this self-awareness like you have, Virgo. And a lot of you are like, I don't understand why they don't get it. Not everybody does. A lot of people just have this inability to see that they've done anything wrong. And when you tell someone about that, they don't understand it. It's kind of like trying to teach a two-year-old calculus. They just don't have the capability to process these things. And I feel like you've been talking to a wall. You've been banging your head against the wall. This person, I don't know if they don't have a moral code or they just don't understand, they, or they lack empathy or they don't see that their actions have a ripple down effect in ways that maybe they've hurt you. This person is in the dark a lot. They stand on the sidelines and they hide in the dark and things just seem to fall apart in their life. They have struggles with relationships. They can't seem to uh, commit or they don't understand when things, they don't understand. They think it's everybody else's fault sometimes and this maybe this person has a tendency to do that. They don't see how they're the common denominator in their failed relationships. If every one of their relationships, they have nothing long term and they keep failing, they, they just feel like it's every people or they say, oh, nobody understands me. No, that's it. They don't open up to allow anyone to understand them. They just keep closed mouth. But Virgo, they are going to try. They are going to try November and they are going to try a lot of sneaky ways. It's the only way they know how. This person, it doesn't feel like they really know how. I don't know what there's a blockage with them. 
an emotional blockage. They just don't get it. I don't know if they have a, a sense of entitlement. Maybe they're maybe they are narcissistic. They just don't understand that there's other people in, uh, that other people have feelings. There might be a level of some type of disconnect with this person, um, or uh, the, or I mean, for some, this they could be autistic, high functioning. They might have very deep emotions, but they don't understand how to express them. They don't really understand things a, a deep on a deep level. This has been a struggle for you, for some of you. And it's been hard because a lot of you just don't know either what's, what was going on with this person. Maybe there were addic addictions. You just didn't understand what was what you were dealing with. And you've, a lot of you maybe spent a lot of time trying to sort things out, figure it out, figure it out. You wasted a lot of time. And meanwhile, life is passing you by, you know? Meanwhile, life is passing you by because you really, you, Virgo, it feels like you really love this person, but it feels to me like in November, you're really releasing this person, moving to a safe place where you can feel safe or, or be in a relationship where you feel safe, where there's an understanding you're in alignment with one another. Um, just a little something feels off, and yet this person fell for you. But there's a block, that bridge. There's a there's a some plank boards missing in the bridge for you two to connect. I feel like Virgo, you keep maybe you keep putting those plank boards in, and then they just keep failing. There's trouble connecting. There's blockages. Trouble connecting. Okay, so Virgo, a lot of you are just reflecting at this time recollecting your thoughts a lot is going on and a lot of you are taking alone time you you maybe you're telling this person you're just pulling out you're moving out you're cutting it off you you're taking time to reflect you you've got a, like a whole horizon up in front of you and this person is very hesitant they're very hesitant because they don't understand you you don't understand them and I feel like you're just trying to regroup, recharge your energy at this time. Especially in November. Okay. A loving older female will be significant to you, Virgo, in November. Interesting. So there's going to be this woman in your life uh, an older woman very compassionate nurturing and i feel like she's going to have a good influence on your heart i feel like she's going to tell you listen virgo just leave things be for now allow spirit to work all of this out she's going to tell you that things that are difficult right now with this relationship things aren't happening right now is because Higher power is working on the two of you behind the scenes. And that's why you can't see anything is going on, really. Or you don't understand um, where this person is or what's going on. <clears throat> She's going to tell you to trust that God is working in your life. Even when you feel discouraged, you have to trust. Be patient and trust his timing. That's what I feel like this message is right now. Because... Virgo, I feel like your hands are up in the air and you're just like, I don't know how to fix it. I don't know how to not fix it. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should do anything. I'm just, I'm just trying to feel safe and secure within myself. Maybe for some of you, this person reaches out after a while and you just don't know what to say. You just don't know what to say. I feel like a lot of you have said your piece. So many of you, um, this older female is going to tell you to take charge in, in your life at this time. To feels like um, take a hold of your masculine energy. Okay, you might have a father figure who's guiding you through things at this time for some or in spirit form. 
um, or an influential male and a, and a loving older female. But I feel like it could be a couple that you talk to where they tell you, take your power back, stay in a place of dignity, strive for respect. Take care of your, your, your family, your home, that kind of stuff. Put things into perspective when you go in and you're reflecting on things. Okay. Yeah, you have a lot of fear and anxiety. Some of you, this person reaches out and you, you still love them and you want to talk to them and, and you hope that they're okay. Some of you are... You know, they tug at your heartstrings a little bit with some communication in November. And I feel like um, some of you will get a message from them and be grateful that they are okay because you may not have spoken to them and maybe you think they're dead or something. Or maybe you thought they got sick or maybe they did and you didn't hear anything. Um, some of you will just be happy to know that they're okay if they're reaching out. Um, but you still have a lot of fear and anxiety. Not only for some that this thing, you don't know what to do and you have to let it go, but for a lot of you that you're having to start over and that's causing um, maybe some uh, bad dreams or you're just having a little nervousness during the day because your life is changing. You're having to let go of someone you truly love because you don't know what to do or you don't know what to say because they don't, just don't understand. This person's watching you, Virgo, spying online. Mm -hmm. It's so, it's so draining for you. They're there, but they're not fully there. It's kind of like a living ghost for some of you who have a, a living ghost. This person is in your presence in all kinds of ways, but yet when you reach out to touch them, they're not there. And it's, Kind of like you are not willing to settle living with a ghost someone that you can't kiss or you can't hug you can't touch just their energy and a lot of you are letting go of that ghostly energy that 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 thing where all that was left at this point is just memories memories pictures thoughts conversations and yet still this person I don't feel like is willing to let you go Virgo but you have a new love start okay <laughs> Virgo I feel like this person like I said the ace of cups is there there's a new love start happening here this person is and wants because like I said before they they fell for you they fell in love with you they they didn't want you I feel like you leaving has broken this person's world down into smithereens and they want to try again but for a lot of you that might even that might hurt even more because you don't know if you can you don't know if you can go back to that or do that now for others, there could be a new lover coming into your life as well. Okay? You let go. You give yourself time. Does it mean you're going to go into a new love relationship? I mean, for some you may. For some you may just take a little more time to yourself. The new love start could also just be starting to love yourself again. Because now you get all that love energy back. You know, love is energy. It doesn't just disappear. It has to ground somewhere. And if you've put out that love energy towards someone and they just weren't, it wasn't reflecting off them and coming back towards you, it will bounce off of something else. It will always come back to you. The love that you put out there always comes back to you, whether it's yours or somebody else's. Some of you are just taking that time learning to love yourselves again. This connection was very toxic. It be or it became. And you're having to break some chains here and face your fears. A lot of you are doing a lot of praying. Just so you know, Virgo, definitely 
uh, let your friends help you. You're not alone in this. Many people have gone through these situations. A lot of people are currently going through these situations right now. Find those people. Find that soul tribe to help you through these changes. They are going to come back. And they are going to reach out. And they are going to try to have this new beginning with you. I do feel like they are. But they're not going to... Look, if you're if you're hoping this person's going to completely morph, I mean they're they have they're going to show the potential. I feel like they're reaching out because you're done and they don't want to lose you and they want you to I don't know that they want you to wait. They know they don't want to lose you, but they're they've got this conflict going on within them. They have a lot of fear and anxiety. They don't know if they can give you or be or give you what you deserve or be what you deserve, yet they know that you are the best thing for them. And this is really hard for some of you. It's really, really hard to let go. This person's life is not to, as together as it seems, and they do look for you everywhere. See, I don't feel like they're going to let you go. They got lost for a little while, and they definitely regret lying to you. This person may have bolstered, bolstered you up, told you how you were the best thing that ever happened to you, you were the wish come true for them. I feel like a lot of that was, not that they didn't feel it, but I feel like it was done in a manipulative way to make, okay, we'll call it love bombing. They just said love bombing. They did a lot of love bombing. Was it because they didn't feel that way? No, but it was a way to secure you staying attached to them telling you little things but if you were in a deep place of need and felt yourself becoming dependent on that validation that's where your change has happened because you came to start loving yourself and you didn't need that anymore and now they're like oh love bombing's not work but they're still going to they're still going to try <laughs> timing just wasn't right you are the best thing in my life. See, I wish I had treated you better and I'm becoming a better person. I mean, do I think this person's a narcissist? I don't know. Everybody's got narcissistic traits. You know what I mean? I mean, if this relationship became extremely toxic, you know, it takes two to tango. And if you're dealing with someone who is toxic, like if you're dealing with someone who is abusive, you know, like if they were hitting you, for some of you, um, you may have hit them back if you didn't have to defend yourself, you know. I'm, and I'm talking about some real in-depth stuff here, and I don't want to go into the whole psychological, clinical stuff here. I mean, you know your story. If you were dealing with someone who was like, like there was a domestic violence situation, you know, it's going to take more than a tarot card reading. I'm not trained to counsel anybody in those situations. This would take more than a, a tarot card reading. There's a lot of healing that needs to be done by that, with that situation. But if that's not your story, you just had someone who was kind of like giving you all of this attention, all this love, but they were giving it to others as well. Um, that's pretty manipulative. Does that make that person like a... A violent narcissist no but could it make them selfish and self-centered yes okay mastery you're learning a spiritual lesson here Virgo which is good there you go and this person was in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson Virgo Wow and you've learned it and a lot of you have completed your soul contract a lot a lot of you have moved are moving on because the the lesson was learned the lesson was learned. A lot of you are looking back like, I'm okay. I, I learned what I needed to learn from this person. And you taught them some things too, Virgo. So just remember that. It wasn't just, oh, you needed to be taught something. You also taught them some things. And that's why I feel like this person's now making a, this decision. But you are too. I feel like they're making the decision to be with you once and for all and for good. They don't know exactly how to do it, but they're they're doing it. But a lot of you have also made the decision to release them and free yourself. Take back control of your life and move on.
Okay, children might be involved in this relationship. Or you were both immature when you were together. And like I said, I feel like one of you is ascended and the other has not. They're just beginning their ascension where you are, you know, they're, they're walking in the indoor and you're already out the door, you know? They're, they're, it feels like a missed opportunity here. But maybe it wasn't meant to be. It might have just been for some of you just to learn something here. There's a silver lining. Find the silver linings in all the things in your life that didn't work out the way you wanted them to. There's a silver lining in everything. Detach with love to clearly see the truth and to clearly see the silver lining. Growth is tough, but Virgo, this was your true love, and you are theirs, and this is difficult for you guys, very, very difficult, because the love was truly there, it was just at the wrong, it wasn't time for you both to come together, it seems like it's always for you guys with this situation like this, when I get readings like this, for whoever's resonating, it always feels like when you come in to that, when you come to them, they're not there. And then when you leave, they are there. And it's exhausting. I don't, I'm feeling that like breathlessness about the situation. Let's see what your moonology messages are here. Bringing love into the situation. Hmm. I feel like this person is going to try to do that here with you. Bring love into this. I, like I said, Virgo, this person, I do feel like they truly fell in love with you or they're realizing now that this is a true love connection with you. And maybe they didn't feel it before. Spirit works in mysterious ways. You're very close to achieving your goal, Virgo. Huh. And a fiery climax approaches Virgo. Okay, so we have Aquarius and Aries. So I don't know what it is that you want, Virgo. I'm not sure what you want. Only you know that. But whatever it is that you want, I know some of you may feel like it's never going to happen. This thing is never going to happen. But I do feel like it's going to happen with you and this person. I do. I feel like it's going to be weird and strange the way it comes about. You know, I like to say, and, and I think that this is probably the safest way to handle situations like this. What's meant for you, Virgo, will be for you. And there isn't anything you can do about that. What's meant for you will be for you. You can't change that. And what's not meant for you will not be for you. And you can't change that either. So you just have to let it go. Whatever comes to you, whatever's meant for you will come. And Virgo, I just kind of feel like a lot of you get that. And you're just like, whew, you're exhaling. You're leaving things be. You're not dealing with any bullshit, lies, manipulation, cheating, um, and what I mean by that is you're not taking any excuses for it, okay? That kind of thing, there's people that stay and put up with that shit. And you know what? They, those types of people, I feel like they, it, it does so much damage to their soul. That's what I feel like. It just does so much damage to their, their self-esteem. Sure, they have the person that they want, but so does everybody else. And they lose their self-respect and their dignity because they don't want to let go of someone because they have too much fear that they're going to be alone. And that's totally understandable. Some people go through those fears. And that's why it's really important in times like that is to lean on your friends and the people who support you, your soul tribe, whoever they may be for you. Could even for some of you be your pets. 
those little doggy kisses and hugs or your kitty purrs, whatever it is, right? But again, it feels honestly like I can tell you that I feel like this person is going to try. They're going to try. They don't want to let you go. They want to hold on to this relationship. They are going to try to, they're letting go of whatever they were, whoever they were involved with in the past. You know, they're breaking down. And I feel like, I don't even know if some of you are intentionally trying to destroy this person. I don't feel like you are because I don't get Virgos being that way. I feel mostly like there's a major shift happening here and it's just happening to you and this person and I don't feel like you're really fighting it at this time. I feel like you're just letting it go. You're letting it, oh, when I feel in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me speaking words of wisdom let it be that's what i feel like's going on here you're just leaving things be things are breaking down i just feel like you want rest and you want peace virgo <laughs> and you want happiness you want to feel again a lot of you i'm picking up this like i just got like these tingles like these numbing tingles a lot of you just feel numb you want to feel that joy, that sun in your face. You want to feel that, that happiness. You know, happiness over, I don't know, a good meal. That excitement, you know, those little things. A lot of you just maybe had a touch of depression or feeling just kind of blue. Let's see what your other messages are here for you. I will tell you, Virgo, though, this person is going to come in. They are going to try to do things right by you. If you're going to take them back, just understand that they are not you know, on the same path as you. They're may maybe they're parallel to you, but they're way behind and you're way ahead. And if you're going to take them back, you're going to need to be understanding and patient with them and not expect them to be where you are. You know, but that's if you want to take this person back. All right, let's see. Okay, Ace of Wind. Brilliant ideas that may need refinement. Overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out. Communicate clearly and concisely and remain objective. And I feel like there has to be this truthful conversation. I do feel like you are gonna give a truthful conversation and I feel like both of you are gonna have that between each other. Um, and I do feel like there's an opportunity will come here in November to overcome these obstacles or these challenges or these blockages that you are experiencing. Yeah, six of cups, six of water. Children or childhood, this is connected to children. If you have children together or could be conversation about what things were like when you first met and wanting to get back to the beginning, starting over. Um, you guys could be in this position of, you know, talking about your dreams or your plans or the things you wanted in the very beginning and things had changed. Some of you, it's about embracing your inner child. Um, I got to tell you, I was channeling my inner child the other day, and it was Tony Soprano. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I mean, you never know. But I just kind of feel like you guys, your person and you, you guys are embracing like, oh, you know, that innocence. Okay. There's a return of someone, a romantic partner from your past, Virgo, and, and this is this person in July. I'm sorry, I just said July. Why did I say July? Somebody's birthday might be July 6th. Cancer? Um, sometime between November 1st and, oh, you just gave me... November 6th, something happened. Some clarity came to this person about you. Some real clarity. 
There's a lot of romanticizing about how things used to be and wanting to restore the connection, like how good things used to be. I feel like there's going to be clarity and communication about that. Okay, and the Eight of Wind. The illusion of entrapment. A lack of self-confidence that makes someone feel helpless. Being afraid to take action. Take responsibility for your life now. I feel like that's what this person is doing. They felt trapped. They lacked the confidence, definitely. And that made them feel helpless. And that's why they weren't able to make this change with you. I feel like there's going to be some truth coming out with this person that they're going to start taking responsibility for themselves and for their part in things here. It's, you know, to, you know, everybody plays a role in relationships. It's not always just one person. So I feel like that energy is definitely playing out with them. Well, they just said get one more card here. So you're releasing, as you're releasing someone, they're coming in, Virgo. This could just be somebody that you've been dating the past few months, for some of you. But it got real heavy and deep real quick for you, but not for them. Could be the past year or two, depends. Doesn't have to be a real long time ago. Doesn't have to be like the deep, deep past. It could be recently. I feel like, like Virgo, some of you, you fell for someone recently that you didn't expect to fall for and they did for you, but you guys weren't ready to be together for some reason. It wasn't the right timing. Anyway, they're giving me another. Justice, here you go. You're, you're being asked again to be objective both of you standing up for what you believe in trying to see all sides of the situation you will win if your position is one of integrity so this is balancing the scales truth coming out a win-win situation and like i said if you're going to accept this person back they're trying to come in and they're really making effort to show you that that they're they're ready here don't have your expectations so high that it's impossible for them to meet. Give them an opportunity to prove it to you, but do give the opportunity to them. Don't just, you know, don't just take this person back just based on words. Take them back based on um, them having to meet you at your level and nothing less because a lot of you just are not there anymore. You are not, like, like all right, that is one thing they're just saying. This person misses the old you, but the old you might have been a bit more childish. Maybe you were younger or just immature in your actions with this person. Um, a lot of you fell for someone and you dumbed yourselves down for this person or acted on their level. And that's why it went on for so long. And a lot of you are like, nope, no more. I'm growing up. And kudos to you. You took you took responsibility for yourselves. And like I said, the self, whole self-value thing happened. And this person's like, wow, they miss the old you. Um, for some of you, because it was you were easy to manipulate. And a lot of you are like, not anymore. <laughs> I just feel like you have, you know, climbed that cliff and you're up at the top and your person is down below and they're still climbing the cliff. Oh, it's just all timing. I think it's just all timing. Let's get a couple of charms here. I hope you like my new um, setup here. I had to make some changes. And I had to get a new table. So, if you don't like it, too freaking bad. Because this is the way it's going to stay. Alright, let's see. Virgo, Virgo. All right, so they're giving you, oh, what's this? Hold on, you guys. I got to figure out what the hell some of this stuff is. Gosh, I don't know. They just gave me sushi. I don't know what the heck. Sushi, I don't know. I'm not even sure. That's what I'm seeing, and I'm not exactly sure what that is. And then they're telling me pomegranate. 
or sushi. It's like, it's like also I'm seeing like a like some kind of a flower with a lot of seeds in the center, but it's got flower petals. Maybe a sunflower, something with a sunflower. We also have a key here, a skeleton key. Oh. Hmm. You just told me the Olympics. That's bizarre. I know you guys can't see this. I should try and get like a way for you to see it. They just gave me like the Olympics. Okay, maybe axe throwing or horseback riding. We've got a horse stout. Oh, some of you. Okay, they just said your person. Somebody's Italian or from Italy or they're, they're like Italian. And somebody is... Maybe you're, are you working with an axe right now? I don't know. Chopping firewood? You're gonna, or somebody chops firewood? Or there's like a memory of that? Or someone rides horses. This is a gold key. So you know how sometimes there's like silver keys, metal keys? This is specific to someone. It's a gold key. Golden key. Oh wow, okay. This is this is spirit's advice here. You see that? Virgo, look at this. The glass is either half full or half empty. Okay? And you got to decide, what, what are you looking at here? Is the glass half full in your life or is it half empty? And I'm also feeling like looking outside of a ship window and looking at the water across the ocean, like on the horizon. I don't know if you're going to be on a ship or taking a cruise or something. I just feel like I see someone being in like a ship cabin, like a room on a boat looking out. And a happy cloud, my goodness. <laughs> Jiggly puff, a happy cloud. Somebody's taking a cruise. Is someone taking a cruise somewhere? Going someplace? Or planning it or maybe planning it for November or coming up sometime going somewhere where you're out on the water I'm just seeing like clear skies with some white fluffy clouds cloud nine I feel like some of you are gonna hear from this person and the things that they say to you will have you feeling on cloud nine like do I feel like you have a wish coming true? I do feel like this person is going to try to do that for you. But I don't know that you are just going to jump on that. Look, you guys, I'm not kidding. Now we have a starfish and a whale's tail. So somebody's definitely taking a cruise. Okay, or going somewhere where there's, or you're by the ocean doing something... <sighs> islandy maybe an island or somewhere or maybe you live somewhere where it's kind of tropical and you can ride horses on the beach it's very beautiful then we have um bambi <laughs> bambi somebody's name bambi hmm Doe, a deer, a female deer. <laughs> I don't know if this is a doe, but it looks more like, um, oh, your person might have, might be very tall. Or someone's very tall, has very extremely long legs. Okay. They just gave me that. Someone's very tall with long legs. All right. Let me get one more and then I'm going to be done with your reading here. Sorry. Okay, now we have a little boy with a baseball cap. A little boy with a baseball cap. Like he's standing at the dugout. He's got his cap on. He wants to, it could be a girl, but it it's a child. 
let me say that child with a baseball cap and a mitt and a glove wants to go out and play baseball somebody wants to play baseball or has always wanted to play some kind of like I know some of you are in different countries I don't know where who's got baseball where maybe it's rugby or football or there's soccer or some type of child a sport from being a child is what I feel is very significant I don't know if that's a conversation that's going to come up uh, because you did have the six of cups which does represent like childhood um, maybe some conversations about what it, somebody was doing when they were a child or what they wanted to do they're getting the opportunity to do this something along those lines I think I'm going to get like a black thing here for the charms so you guys are able to see it because it looks kind of camouflage I don't feel like you guys can see it all that well so sorry about that this is the first time I'm doing this with the table so next time I'll make sure it's <laughs> a little better set up um yeah so Virgo I hope that those messages resonated for you if they do please do hit like and subscribe to my channel and um, yep I will be on tomorrow evening same bat channel same bat time so yeah and if you want a personal reading again the link is in the description box below this video just click that link and you can book your reading with me it's a phone call reading you can do a 30 minute phone call or a one hour phone call um, all the prices are there on my booking site so all you have to do is just book it that's it and it's done and I guarantee that I'll, I will reach out to you right away um, so yeah, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the chat and the reading and I will see you all tomorrow. All right, Virgos, take care. I love you. Bye.